next topic which is data flow okay data flow that's very easy topic <coughs> and a short one as well um, okay so data flow in the applications okay so data flow flow is nothing you can see like document flow is a data flow okay so you have seen previously that when we creating a <coughs> let me call a old uh, sales order so if I go to the document flow here I can see all the doc document flow okay so from starting from creation <coughs> or sales order delivery uh, post grid issue and billing document and all that and cancellation even so so it is called document flow or data flow okay so so basically whenever you want to try to you can create uh, any order any quotation anything with a reference okay and you will see a screen like this one where you can do the reference okay so we have seen this before <coughs> Now there are a couple of options here actually. Okay, so let me show you this one. Um, so there was a sales or uh, there was a quotation yesterday. I was using probably let me use that one. So let me check again. Um, let's use this sales uh, quotation. Okay, so let me check the status. I select document flows for 10 pieces uh, there should be six left um, let me go to the item details item oh we have reached directly this item okay, let me create a, a brand new uh, quotation so VA21 to create a quotation and QT is the standard quotation type and that's my customer and uh, okay let me use this one okay so let's say 10 <clears throat> again uh, for this one the validity period is mandatory field so let's do this So it says valid for a, for a month until next month. Starting today. And I will save it. So the number is uh, two five zeros and sixty six. Okay, so if I create a sales order. So all I need to do is to click on this create with reference and here system will show me a screen. Okay, so either you can search a, a quotation. If you remember a quotation number, just type the quotation number here. So whatever that number was like 66. Okay, or if you do not remember, then you have the option to search it. So if you remember the customer purchase order number, just enter the purchase order number here and system will point it for you. Okay, so probably let me do it. So if I open this existing quotation and here I can enter the purchase order number I'll say um, uh, GS123 for example sorry GS123 okay so here when I'm searching for it so I will say purchase order number was GS123 and search it will show me the relevant quotation so they're saying there's one quotation with this particular number I can select this one or I can search it by sold to party as well <laughs> cancel this or I will enter the sold to party 301336 search and all the open quotation will show me here okay and I can select the one so this is the one probably I will be using 66 not sure what this one is 
so it's selected 66 okay <clears throat> now you have two options here okay so you can see two button here copy and item selection so if I do the copy okay so system will copy it says up or not allowed you this it is not sure what this one is let me try again create with reference 66 copy this is something new This is totally something new for me. I never seen it before. Probably let me try to copy from different documents. Um, let me search for all the quotations. And if I pick 54, okay, this has already been referenced. So let me create a new quotation, uh, new quotation. So something wrong, I guess. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I think so. Manish, you're right. Somebody put the status profile or something in a quotation. Is it? Let me. Okay, so let me check this one first. Then we'll create a new one. So V O V eight to directly jump to the sales order types so QT is a quotation and let's see there's the one see somebody entered some Z new profile or something so let's delete this one and should be fine okay so it should be okay so let me create a Uh, sorry, sales order. So V A one V A zero one. Enter and create with reference. Now I can use the old one. And there are two options: copy or item selection. Okay. So when I say copy, still there. Why is that? Maybe I maybe I need to create a new quotation again because I'm still thinking the old one is with the other settings. So let me create a new one. So I need to enter some dates here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm creating a sales order. Just apologize. Um, quotation. Yes, you're right, Manish. Existing quotation will still give the error. So we need to create a new one. So let's quickly do it. And enter some dates, valid to valid from, and save. Now, <clears throat> let me create a sales order for this quotation. Create with reference 67 is a new number. Now, copy. So, if I click on copy, looks better now. So, it will copy. Errors are good. Somebody really changed all, the, all of the settings, I guess. That's bad. 